John Loder, actor. John Loder, born William John Muir Low, 3 January 1898, 26 December 1988, was established as a British film actor in Germany and Britain before migrating to the United States in 1928 for work in the New Talkies. He worked in Hollywood for two periods, becoming an American citizen in 1947. After living also in Argentina, he became a naturalized British citizen in 1959. Biography Early Life Loder was born in 1898 at 11 Herbert Crescent, Knightsbridge, London. His father was W.H.M. Low, a British career army officer who achieved the rank of general. Patrick Pierce, the leader of the 1916 Easter Rising in Dublin, Ireland, surrendered to him. Both were present at the surrender. His mother was Frances Broster Johnson Nee de Salvo, 1857-1942, daughter of Francisco de Salvo of Palamo, Sicily, and his English wife, Emma Broster. Frances was widowed when she married Lowe. She had been married to the late Captain Robert Harry Johnson of the 64th Foot Regiment. Loder had a younger sister, Elizabeth, born in 1900, who would later become a nun. He had also three older half-siblings from his mother's first marriage, Harry Cecil Johnson, 1877-1915, Dorothy Johnson, 1880-1971, and Gladys Francis, McGrathney Johnson, formerly Kingsmill, 1881. Loder was educated at Eton and the Royal Military College, Sandhurst, Berkshire. World War I Loder followed his father into the army, being commissioned into 15th Hussars as a second lieutenant on 17 March 1915, during the First World War. He was immediately sent to Gallipoli, where he served until the British withdrawal. From 21 April until early May 1916, Loder was stationed in Ireland, serving as his father's ADC, and where they both witnessed the surrender of the leaders of the Easter Rising. He rejoined his regiment in Rouen, France, in May 1916, and was engaged in the 1916 Battle of the Somme. He was taken prisoner by the Germans on 21 March 1918 at the village of Reusel and transported to Lakata jail and then by train to the first of several prisoner of war camps at Rastet in Baden, Germany. Upon being released, Loder stayed in Germany where he was assigned military duties on behalf of the Inter-Allied Commission in Breslau and Upper Silesia. Germany, Germany, Germany. Leaving the cavalry. Loder went into business with a German friend, Walter Becker, establishing a pickle factory in Potsdam. Later, he began to develop an interest in acting. He appeared at the British Theatre Guild in Berlin and enjoyed a triumph in productions of The Last of Mrs. Cheney, which had opened in London in 1925. He began appearing in bit parts in a few German films produced at the Tempelhof Film Studios, including Dancing Mad 1925. He had a good part in Madame Wants, No Children, 1926, directed by Alexander Corda before going on to appear in numerous films in the next two years, The Last Waltz, The White Spider, The Great Unknown, all in 1927, and All Wrong, Fair Game When the Mother and the Daughter Casanova's Legacy, The Sinner and Adam, British Films, Loder left Germany to return briefly to the United Kingdom. He had a support role in The Firstborn 1928, playing Madeleine Carroll's love interest. That year he sailed to the United States on the SS Isle de France, bound for Hollywood to try his luck in the new medium of talkies. First period in Hollywood, Hewood. Loder was signed by Paramount Studios. He appeared in The Case of Lena Smith, 1929, directed by European Joseph von Sternberg. He made The Doctor's Secret, 1929, Paramount's first talking picture, playing Ruth Chatterton's leading man. He appeared opposite Jack Holt in a western, Sunset Pass, 1929. But his very English persona in these roles did not win over viewers in the United States. He also appeared in Black Waters, 1929, the first British talkie, which was made in the U.S. by producer Herbert Wilcox, 
and The Unholy Night 1929 at MGM. Loder made some for Pathé, Her Private Affair 1929, The Racketeer 1929, and Rich People 1930. Alexander Corda had also moved to Hollywood and cast Loder in Lilies of the Field 1930. This was produced by Warner's Studio, who also used Loder in the Second Floor Mystery 1930, Sweethearts and Wives 1930, The Manhunter 1931, a Rin Tin Tin film, and One Night at Susie's 1931. He went to Fox Studio for Seas Beneath 1931, directed by John Ford. That year he also appeared in a film for Hal Roach at MGM on the Loose 1931. Return to Britain Loder returned to Britain. He starred in a comedy for Herbert Wilcox, Money Means Nothing, 1932, and was reunited with Corda in Wedding Rehearsal, 1933. Loder pursued Merle Obron in The Battle, 1933, and had the star role in Money for Speed, 1933, opposite Ida Lupino. He was in You Made Me Love You, 1933, and that year had a small part in Corda's hugely successful The Private Life of Henry Roman VIII, 1933, playing the love interest of Elsa Lanchester's and of Cleves. Loder had lead roles in low-budget, quota quickest, such as Paris Plain, 1933, and Rolling in Money, 1934, as well as the romantic, male lead, in the Gracie Fields vehicle, Love, Life and Laughter, 1934. Loder specialized in leading man parts, in Warren London, 1934, Java Head, 1934, with Anna May Wong, Sing As We Go 1934 with Fields Again, and a big hit, My Song Goes Round the World 1934, Lorna Doon 1934, As John Ridd, and 18 Minutes 1935. He was top billed in The Silent Passenger 1935, and It Happened in Paris 1935, and supported in the Mozart biopic, Whom the Gods Love 1936. Loder was reunited with Gracie Fields in Queen of Hearts, 1936, and starred in an IRA drama, Ourselves Alone, 1936. He had a part in Guilty Melody, 1936, and supported Boris Karloff in The Man Who Changed His Mind, 1936. Loder played the heroic investigator in Alfred Hitchcock's Sabotage, 1936, replacing Robert Donat before taking on the role of Sir Henry Curtis, the male romantic interest in the 1937 original film version of King Solomon's Mines, Romancing Anna Lee. He romanced Margaret Lockwood in Doctor Sin 1937, supporting George Arliss. He and Lee were reunited in Nonstop New York, 1937, and he took on Erich von Stroheim in Under Secret Borders, 1937. Loder and Lockwood romanced again, in support of a crusty old actor in Ode Bob 1938, before he went to France to appear in Cation 1938 with Daniel Dariux, in which he played Alexander Roman II of Russia. He returned to Britain and starred in thrillers Anything to Declare, 1939, The Silent Battle 1939, with Rex Harrison, and Murder Will Out 1939. He had the title role in Meet Maxwell Archer 1940. Return to Hollywood After Britain entered the Second World War, Loder returned to the United States. He coasted into a career in B-movie roles, usually playing upper-crust characters. He also played one role on stage on Broadway in 1947's For Love or Money opposite June Lockhart. He was in Adventure in Diamonds 1940 and Diamond Frontier 1940. At 20th Century Fox, he made Tin Pan Alley 1940, Scotland Yard 1941, and How Green Was My Valley 1941, in which he played a brother of Roddy McDowell's character. He also worked in such war films as Confirm or Deny 1941, One Night in Lisbon 1941, and Eagle Squadron 1941. Warner Bros. In Now, Voyager 1942, he played a wealthy widower engaged to Bette Davis's character. That was made by Warners, who used Loder in Gentleman Jim 1942 as Errol Flynn's love rival. Warners gave him a then rear lead in a B, The Gorilla Man 1943, 
The Mysterious Doctor, 1943, Murder on the Waterfront, 1943, and Adventure in Iraq, 1943. He was back with Davis in Old Acquaintance, 1943, and supported Humphrey Bogart in Passage to Marseille, 1944. In the early 1940s, Loder was host of Silver Theatre, a dramatic anthology on CBS radio. He also starred in the program's 11 June 1944 episode. Freelance Loder freelanced as an actor. He had support roles in The Hairy Ape 1944 and Abroad with Two Yanks 1944, then had a lead part in some B films The Brighton Strangler 1945, Jealousy 1945, A Game of Death 1945, a remake of The Most Dangerous Game, and The Wife of Monte Cristo 1946. He supported in In a Film, One More Tomorrow 1946, and appeared opposite then wife Hedy Lamar in Dishonored Lady 1947. Loder then appeared in a minor Broadway hit in For Love or Money 1947-48. Around this time, he began to focus increasingly on business as opposed to acting. Later Career Loder's later film appearances included British films The Story of Esther Costello, 1957, Small Hotel, 1957, and Gideon's Day, 1958. His last film was The Fire Chasers, 1971. Personal Life Marriages and Children he was unmarried when he fathered his first son, Robin William Lowe, 1925-29, March 2002. The boy followed his father to Eton and served in the Grenadier Guards. He later became a theatrical and literary agent and was married three times. His last marriage was to British actress Hilary Tyndall, 1938-1992. She played in Hammond in the 1970s, BBC TV series The Brothers. In 1932, Loder was named in the divorce proceedings of Wanda Holden and Charles Bailey Hamilton. A former MP, Loder was married five times. Two of his wives were actresses. He first married French star Micheline Cheryl, married 1936 41. They had one daughter together, who later married Paul Muris. Secondly, he wed Austrian-American actress Hedy Lamar in the United States, married 1943-47. He and Lamar had three children together, James Markey Loder, born 1939. When Lamar was married to Jean Markey, they adopted this boy, and she said he was unrelated. Documentation found after Lamar's death was reported in 2001 to reveal that James was born to Lamar and Loder before their marriage. Loder's other wives were Sophie Cable, Evelyn Off Mort, and finally, in 1958, the heiress Alba Julia Lagomarsino of Argentina. After their marriage, he lived on her 25,000 acre cattle ranch and spent much time at the jockey club in Buenos Aires. After they divorced in 1972, Loder returned to London. He resided for some years in a house opposite Harrod's department store. In 1947, Loder had become an American citizen. In 1959, he became a naturalized citizen of the United Kingdom. Given his varied residencies, he had been considered of uncertain nationality by that time. Later years, he published his autobiography, Hollywood Hussar, in 1977. Loder's general health deteriorated in his 80s, and he was admitted in 1982 to the Distressed Gentlefolks Aid Association's nursing home in Vicarage Gate, Kensington. He went weekly by taxi to his London club, Bucks in Mayfair, for luncheon. He died in London, aged 90, in 1988. In popular culture, Loder is the focus of the play The Private View, Fairy Tales of Ireland, 1916-2016, written by Trevor White writer and directed by Gerard Stembridge. The play was staged by the Little Museum of Dublin as part of the Dublin Theatre Festival in October 2015 and was performed at the American Irish Historical Society in November of the same year. Filmography